Hello, everyone. Welcome back to English Vera Akio Kominga Life. This is Brandon. Hello, everyone. In the last update, Jake and I finished the deconstruction of the DOMA and the backroom floors, as well as construction of the new supports, insulation, subfloor, and cedar floor for what's going to be my new bathroom. After I saw him off at the airport and shed tears for a couple of days, I finally got motivated again to finish the nook of the bathroom and then started working on a ninja style ramp for the DOMA. It took a little time to get this done as I had to stop to do other things like grass cutting, washing clothes, meeting people, and visiting my local government office, but I finally got it done. This is part one of two. I hope you enjoy. First, let's finish this part of the floor. The floor underneath the washing machine is finished. All I have to do now is finish cutting the cedar boards to fit this part right here and this part over here, which is on the right side of the bathroom. There's just one issue though. Proceed with my original plan, which is to do the steps or finish cutting out the floor for the bathroom. Either way, it appears that I'm out of screws. <laughs> Whether I build the platform and the ramp or the steps, I need more screws. Let's see if I can dig around in the kit shop and find some screws I can salvage for a makeshift ramp. The washing machine is finished, so I'm gonna pull that out and toss in some more clothes. Because you know that there's nothing I like more 
than the sound of that water pump running just constantly. Um. It seems like no matter where I try to store my bike, it always winds up in the way. I just wanted to be out of the rain. As always, I got the drum. Does your washing machine do that? Toss this one in. I've got some more stuff to wash. I'm going to grab that. All right, that's enough, I think. Now I can get back to looking for some screws. I don't have the necessary screws for these stairs. I do have some screws that are long enough to attach the planks to the frame. For example, if I can use two by fours or something of similar size to build a frame, then I can definitely go from there. But the problem is these screws that I have are only big enough to put three quarter inch material into something, not big enough to use for thicker material. I'm gonna look for a couple of long, heavy boards. I might can cut and lean up and then from there, I'll just screw some planks into that to create a kind of ramp. So I'll do something a little crude. I'm a crude guy, so let's do it. Yeah. That's 83 inches long. I've decided to go ahead and use these screws and try something. I'm going to take some smaller pieces and screw them in and then screw the other smaller pieces into that. Put the plywood piece on top and see about putting some supports underneath. Don't know how well it's going to work, but I'll do what I can. As you can see, this wood down here... Sigh. This wood right here is pretty rotten. I think it's gonna have to be replaced or I'm gonna have to do a lot of chiseling to get all this crap out. That's something to do at a later date. Right now I'm just gonna put a strip in right here and something to set the board on top of. Now what I'll do is I'll basically set the plywood on there like that, put some temporary screws in to hold it down and build uh, some type of frame underneath it. Obviously this is not something you can stand on. Normally I would build a frame first and then put the floor on, but right now my material 
is limited because of the length of my screw. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'll take some smaller material, maybe 5 eighths or 3 quarters, and I'll screw them together, then put them in. 31 and 3 quarters. 31 and 3 quarters. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to put on a ramp today and the reason is because even though I've been able to manage with the screws that I have to make this platform here, I still don't have enough screws to finish putting a ramp right here. Uh, I do want to put in a couple more blocks underneath to screw these cross pieces into. As you can see here, I've got just enough screws to get that done, so I'll chop a couple of blocks and then put them on. Let's go. And here we go. I just went in there and I found this block. It was one piece. Just cut it in half. And now I have two blocks. Let's go put them on. All the way up. All the way over. Three. All right. I hope you can see that. I think you can see that. Three screws into this board, and then two screws into this board this way into this. Same thing over there, except I put this piece on the other side, and then I put the two screws in this side. If you're wondering why this piece is not as wide as this one, or why this one is much wider, it's just because I didn't cut it down. Uh, I could have, but it was kind of pointless. Because, uh, like I said, I don't consider this this platform to be permanent. So, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. So, uh, I do believe that right now, as it stands, I can stand on it. So, um, fingers crossed. Let's try it out. Here's the moment of truth. Do I really trust this build? Okay, here we go. It makes a little cracking noise if you jump around on it a little bit, but it's it's holding good. It's nice and solid. The cool thing is now I can go from here into here. It's a nice temporary thing that I can use just for a little more convenience. 
much, much, much later. This is where we're at. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you next time. I would like to say... Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. And... Jane.